dramatic experience last year not in the poppies after on social media with the bull date but yeah i guess you can't well you're not supposed to go into the poppy fields so we went on the sideline like you know how we're driving let's say like that and i took a picture we were very very careful where we stepped we literally hopped and leaped to like bald spots to not step on the flowers obviously and I stood and I sat on an area where it was already very bald and dry and I had posted it on Instagram and it was a really really cute picture honestly we do it for content but um, I had hashtagged the poppies and stuff and they found me oh my god they there went ape like, shit on my ass. How they, many <laughs> comments were there? There were hundreds. Seven, I kept yeah. so many. Of okay, like hate comments. Yeah, like, hate comments. Like, and it wasn't that like one account. It was multiple of them. Okay, and then they ended up reposting me on like this um, shaming, like shaming, shaming, like horrible other like, the site. Environmental killers. Yeah. <laughs> Far from it. But anyway, yeah. Last year I was really traumatized. Honestly. Um, I don't you know what's I think crazy. It's, it's still online bullying, and I, I yeah. think like you shouldn't because it caused me so much anxiety. And I was at work trying to understand what was going on and uh, constantly trying to delete. And they were like pretty much spamming my whole page and harassing me. And I had no idea, and they didn't know that we already were very careful. But yeah, yeah. but I didn't even, <laughs> I wouldn't, I was surprised that that like people who love flowers are so brutally negative like you know what i'm saying like these are people that you would help you know i don't know i just i'm just guessing the thing is i get where like, they're coming from it's, i get i get it we're not trying to like step on poppies we actually were very conscious of not stepping on them yeah no poppies were hurt at all filming. at all and then there was uh, there was one that yeah i was holding it but it was already on the floor i never picked it i never harmed yeah. the flowers and it was just funny. I mean, lesson learned. But yeah, it's still s sort of like bullying, and I don't like it. But it was my traumatic experience. <laughs> I had so much anxiety. So it was hot. horrible. Anyway, we're heading there now. We're not gonna. Obviously, we're in quarantine. We're not gonna <sighs> fully step out and go in it. We're just gonna take a nice drive. Social distancing. We're probably we not gonna get masks. to the. Where's your mask? We both have masks. Bag, but we're probably not going to be able to get to the reserve because it's closed. I'm, I'm assuming it's closed. I don't think the parks have been reopened yet. So we'll probably just be able to drive around. There's a lot of poppies this year. There was a lot of rainfall, so it's really beautiful. So if you're in the Southern California area and you happen to be in LA and you're not too far from Nanlo Valley, it's not that far of a drive from LA. It's about 50 to 60 minutes. Take the 14 all the way up to having your eyes. So. I, I mean, we one, we only here. went to to actual the reserve once. I don't like to go to that one. I just like to drive by, like literally on the street area. Well, because the reserve they have all these like paths, but they have rules that you can't go. So it's, it's pretty much you're hiking. Don't have like yeah. a lot of flowers. So it's, it's pretty much you go, you hike, and it's like you don't see much, um, and you can't go anywhere near them. So it kind of like defeats the purpose. But, but on the sidelines. But it is a protected, government protected flower, so you have to. Oh, yeah, for sure. might, like, you're not supposed to pick up and step on them and damage them. Yeah. Them for it. I mean, we understand that, but it was just. Anyways, I will record back when we're near the poppies and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, I'll give, show you guys the drive. The drive will be nice. Yes. They had locked off the road to the poppies, so we're making a U-turn and we're gonna go. So yeah, so the poppy reserve is blocked off, uh, which is probably what we anticipated because the parks are closed. But so a lot of fields around the area that are just heavily populated with poppies. So yeah, so we just do a roadside, just step out. 
But there's definitely people laying into poppies. I saw that. So many. God. Yeah, like a little poppy, uh, what is it? What do they call the, the poppy Protectors. army? Protectors. <laughs> yeah, you guys can uh, come out here and uh, guard the poppies all you want. Maybe we can just walk Just right don't here, come man. at me. Want <laughs> to walk? Okay, well, we're going to try to figure this out. Yeah, and then we'll walk again. Figure this out. I'm out of breath. We just quickly stopped roadside. As you guys can see, we are a lot on this it's track. It's windy. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it is windy. You so. can probably hear us, but if you just stop. But here, see. God, I'm out of breath. So there's a little trail. out of my Hermes slippers because last time it stained our shoes so I'm wearing the Eugenia with I found these in my car Nikes she has so many shoes but well, we're gonna get up to the mountain and we'll get back, back with you guys So that was it. We <laughs> were attacked by the wind. No, we're gonna go to a place that's not too windy because literally our ears hurt. Ah, uh, so where are we going? More you know, like, uh, there's like all the, flat land. Like the flat where there's no wind. Yeah, there's another spot on the road here from Avenue I that we're gonna try to hit some. Literally, my eyelashes peeled off. It was so <laughs> it was windy. windy. It was super, super windy. We need glue this back on, babe. Not out. I'm assuming next weekend will probably be fantastic. It'll It'll be, be too sunny. hot though. Yeah. Uh, it's also hard when it's so hot, you guys. And um, I'm kind of scared of the snake holes. So, yeah. Yeah. The uh, daily life with Mel. I have to glue my lashes. What do I have, Mel? Put on camera. You have mommy issues. <laughs> what does that even mean? How do you? How does someone have mommy issues? Can we clarify this? How do I have mommy issues? Because. How? And what saying, does that mean? That's what I want to know. You're saying you don't like when I tell you to not do something. It sounds personal that you're getting mad because it has to do with your childhood. No, because it's annoying when you're always constantly telling me what to do. That's Because you ain't doing it right. Oh, well, what is that? How does that feel? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make some chicken right now for my meal prep. So Vic is meal prepping, and then tonight we're gonna have tacos. 
chicken. So, yes, so right now I'm just making a quick chicken for myself. I'm gonna have broccoli. But this is just to get me by for the next few days. Um, Monday, Tuesday, then I'll meal prep again. It's a nice little, some weird smell. But I'll meal prep again on Wednesday, but this will at least get me by. Um, a few pounds of chicken here. What we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna get this, like I said, really quick. So I'm just gonna take new seasoning that I got from Flavor of God. This is, I have a meal from it, but this is the lemon pepper, or lemon, sorry, lemon garlic. Smell it? Smells good. Show us. You like it? Show us what it looks like. So you can smell? Yeah, it smells amazing. That's what it is. Yeah, so I already have my pan set up here with oil and, not, and I already have olive oil nonstick on the bottom. But I'll take it, excuse the water, and I'll just put it on here like this. I know everybody always loves your meals and your meal preps. This is just easy. This is something you can do like a few minutes. It doesn't take a lot of your time. For those who you always have an excuse about time, this is perfect for those people. <laughs> yeah, you know, so everyone has an excuse, so at least you have to give them the quick version. So. A lot of olive oil there, but... And then, again, it's lemon and garlic. I'm gonna go ham on it, so... I don't the more really, the merrier. Yeah, open the side here and just kind of come and mix it anyways. And try to get a good seasoning on here. Cool. I'm going to preheat the oven. I usually do 425. I'll watch it a few minutes. Um, and I'll mix it all in, to be honest with you. Seasoning. And yes, he washed his hands. <laughs> yes. So, lemon garlic. I'll pair this with broccoli. I am still haven't decided on what kind of carbs yet. If I'm going to do buckwheat, white rice, or maybe some of the Spanish rice that we might make today for dinner, I'm going to just add in there. But for sure with broccoli. But that's it, man. I'll just put this. Put it in the oven, oven for like 15 minutes. I'll, I like to I like it to be juicy. I don't dry Ooh. it out much. And uh, yummy. It's a few meals here, but again, it's a quick way to just make a little meal prep for the next few days. All right, we'll show you guys once cooked. So Vic is making his famous chipotle sauce. Well, we both used it in our household. Well, actually. It was Mel's mom that introduced us to this sauce. Yeah, it's so good, you guys. It definitely goes with everything I put on the meal prep, so gives us some flavor. What's gonna be next? Honestly, next is just we're done with the prep, the broccoli, and then. Yeah. So he's done with his meal prep, and we are going to have sh uh, tacos tonight, shrimp and grass. So we are back, and Vic is making salsa for our taco night. I'm having a Michi. Let me know if you guys want the recipe for my Michi. I'll probably do a tutorial for that. Excuse the TV in the back. Yeah, it's like it's sitting around here. <laughs> Just a simple avocado, tomato, salsa. We'll put some lemon, cilantro, onions. We get diced onions from Trader Joe's, which is Mel found these. Oh, how awesome Super is convenient. that, right? You don't have to deal with dicing onions, which I hate anyways. Diced onions from Trader lot. Joe's. And what we're going to do is put some lemon, some salt, sea salt, or sorry, Himalayan salt in here. And it will be our like avocado salsa for our tacos. Which will be made with beef or shrimp options. While Vic is making the salsa, I am doing the ground grass-fed beef. I'm going to put some taco seasoning and then we're going to start with the shrimp.
So we got beef. I'm going down. That one's pretty much done. Now we're gonna take the tails off of the shrimp and sh put it here, babe. Um, and then we're gonna wash this and then also saute it on a pan with the taco seasoning and some other flavors. Okay, and then we got Spanish rice going down with the avocado salsa that's gonna go in the tacos. We have two options for our country shells. We have the regular Taco Bell, and I just got these just to try, the blue corn and Mel's Michelada. So we put the shrimp in there. We're using a flavor, God, yeah, lemon Ooh. garlic, yeah. In there, and then the beef is done with the taco seasoning. And then we're heating up tacos. So we, this one's the shrimp one. So he's putting his chipotle sauce. Yeah, we'll put the chipotle sauce. Smaller, uh, a little it's a bit, bit smaller harder. shell. Yeah. But they're easy to salsa. But since you warm up the shell, it actually gives it better. Yeah, nice. did you guys know that you had to warm up taco shells when you buy like this? Because we did not. No. But we heated up today. So much better like that too. So. Yummy. Put that in. Look at that cheese. So. Yum, yum, yum. And then these are my favorite rices that, that only cooks in 90 seconds. We got the Spanish style. Pop it in the microwave, 90 seconds, and then easy. you're ready so to go. Easy. It's convenient. You want to cook? And served. Taco night.